Hey everyone, Mom Mike here. Today is a quick video. We are playing some Pac-Man 256, so let's get right into it. I usually get pretty flustered and I panic when I play these games, so I thought I'd call this Pac-Man Panic because I get very anxious. These games really put me on the edge of my seat. And fair warning, I am not very good at these Pac-Man games, but this one I've actually tried to get better at. I had a lot of fun with it, so I wanted to give this the old college try. Let's go ahead and click play, and let's get right into it. Right off the bat, I see orange ghosties, which should not be something I look forward to, but because orange is my favorite color, I don't mind those ones. And they're rather slow. It's those pink ones you gotta look out for. You see her up there? She goes real fast. I don't like those ones one bit. Oh, oh. Go over here. Oh, no. Go. Okay. All right. Staying under the radar. That pink one over the seat. She just like rocket propels towards me. Those ones are real fast, and I don't like those ones very much. But now we are in control. Ghost. Ghost. Monch. Monch, monch. This game has some really fun power-ups. I decided to play this on my account. I had been playing this with my roommate on their account, so they have unlocked a bunch of cool power-ups that I don't currently have right now. But they've got some awesome ones like a laser beam, which is really fun, or like everything catches on fire, and that's a great time as well. If you haven't played this game, I definitely recommend it. It's a fun little time, even if you're not very good at Pac-Man, like I'm not- Oh, oh, they're trying to trick me. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Ooh, that was a- that was, Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't get wicked far. I'm not very good at Pac-Man in general, but I do have fun with this one. There's something about this I, I find enjoyable, even though I'm not great at it. Let's go ahead and play another one. And this does have multiplayer as well. It's kind of like a versus thing, which is even more stressful. I tried playing that with my roommate. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of laughs. This is definitely a fun game to pick up. If you like Pac-Man, I imagine you'll like it even more. But for me, it's very stressful. <laughs> And I've, this one's fun because of all the colors. It's very colorful. I kind of like how it's laid out like a board almost. Oh no. Oh, I gotta get out of here. I find it a little bit less uh, claustrophobic than some other like styles of Pac-Man. But oh my goodness, get me out of here. There's also that, how that kind of creeps up on you from the bottom, those kind of characters down there. And it motivates you to keep going, not just hang out in one spot. Laser beam. That, that's like a wicked fun power up. The fire one is definitely also really cool. Oh, oh no, oh no, ooh, ooh. oh no, that pink one saw me. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah. Okay, all right, we're still alive. We're still alive. That was a, that was a, some nice maneuvering, if I do say so myself. Don't mind giving myself a little pat on the back for that one. But yeah, this is a really cool one to pick up. Let me know in the comments if you've played this specific Pac-Man game. There are so many out there, but this one, Pac-Man 256, has been, you know, a good source of entertainment for my roommate and I. It's also just a good game to just pick up and play anytime. A lot of the achievements are cumulative on this, so playing a little bit here and there, you'll pick up some achievements along the way. It's been nice for playing in between big story games, like on nights that maybe you don't want to play Rise of the Tomb Raider or Shadow of the Tomb Raider, that's the newest one. Or playing it in between Yakuza Kiwami 2 or also like Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. It's been fun to kind of pick this up along the way, do a couple rounds here and there, and the versus mode is definitely something worth checking out if you do have someone that you'd want to play this with. Let's go ahead and give this another go. That was definitely a better run than the first one. Right, we're gonna pick up this apple right away here. And this little power pellet allows me to eat the ghosties, if you have not noticed up to this point. It is also neat, just kind of the style of this. I like how they're kind of like flat, but 3D. I can't really describe it, but you can see it, obviously. And I think that it's a really cool look, that everything's kind of flat. And I like as well that the board changes colors periodically this time. We've got a lovely hot pink with Bomba. Now we've got this cool Bomba, and the next thing that touches me will die. Ooh. Look at that laser beam. And with the score multipliers that you pick up, it's, this game encourages you along the way. It's definitely not 
uh, it's the easiest game if you're not a fan of Pac-Man, which, you know, I'm not the biggest Pac-Man player. But it definitely kind of encourages you with the big flashy scores and everything, and the sound effects are just fun. It's definitely an enjoyable game, even if you're not wicked good at it, I think you'll still have fun. There are some tricky achievements. One of the trickiest ones is to eat 16 ghosts in a single power pellet, which really you'll be picking up multiple power pellets in order to do that, but you just have to keep picking them up to extend the life of it, really. And that's probably one of the trickiest achievements in the game, partly because it's very luck-based. You need to get a board with a lot of ghosts on it in the first place. And of course, you'll see more ghosts as you go higher up, but then the difficulty also increases. Oh, just walked right into that orange guy, but he looked so friendly, I just wanted to say hello. Look at that, after only playing a couple of these, I'm already unlocking things on here. It's very rewarding game to play. And I really am enjoying this, especially on nights that I don't feel like playing the big story games that I'm working on. Let me know too in the comments what story games are you currently playing, if any. I have recently finished Shadow of the Tomb Raider's main story, and that was really good. Uh, in comparison to the other Tomb Raider games, I'll say it's not my favorite of the three. I think my favorite is still the first game. Hands down, that had my favorite story in it. But I do think this game makes a lot of improvements even upon the second one, which made a lot of improvements over the first game. It has less combat than the first two games but it's definitely still very well paced. I don't think it feels slow paced by any means, and I still enjoyed the combat that was in the game. It does focus a little bit more on stealth, but it's very forgiving. It's not gonna force you to play stealthily. If you get caught, you'll just have to go in guns blazing and see how that goes for you. And that's something that I can live with. I don't usually play stealth games, but if you have the option to go guns blazing, if it gives you the option to continue even after you've been caught, then it's something I can deal with and that I can, you know, still play and enjoy. And overall, it's not a boring game. Even though it has less combat, it certainly isn't boring. I still had tons of fun on that game. Still need to go back and get some more achievements on it and play the challenge tombs as well. But the main story was very enjoyable, a good length as well, not too long. It's definitely under 20 hours, maybe even under 15. And that was just an enjoyable game from start to finish. It has a darker story, which I personally enjoyed. I did see some people weren't as happy with that. But I thought the darker storyline was really well done. And everything felt purposeful. It wasn't just dark and brooding for no reason. It, everything had a, a real purpose to it in the story. So I think that's definitely a game worth checking out. If you haven't played the other ones, I would certainly say start with the first one. But I don't think you absolutely have to. It explains enough of what's going on. I think you could- oh, there we go. I think you could get by without playing all of them. But I highly recommend them. The trilogy is very good. I think we've got time to give this one more go, so let's see what we've got next. And honestly, this has been going much better than I expected. I usually do very poorly at these, but maybe I've finally gotten enough practice. Oh no, oh no, oh no, that was terrible. Oh gosh, wow, well that's what I get for bragging, I suppose. That's what happens when you're sure of yourself. Terrible things, terrible things indeed. Let's give this one more go. Let's pretend that last one didn't happen. And oh, oh, oh goodness, starting me off with ghosts left and right already. Get over here, a little clump of ghosts. Watch, watch. I very much dislike honeydew melon in real life, but in this game it's actually my favorite fruit to pick up because I think they look really cool. But otherwise, in real life, I don't like honeydew, I don't like cantaloupe very much either. Let me know, do you like honeydew cantaloupe? I do not. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pellet. Ooh, cherries, I like cherries, that's something in real life. 
very good, very good. Most fruit is really, there's only a handful of fruits that I don't like at all. Oh, ooh, you see that guy? You see the way he was running up on me? I didn't like, oh no, I didn't like that at all. The way that pink one was eyeballing me, I didn't like that one bit. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be an orange or a peach. Maybe it's even a persimmon. Maybe they're being exotic with the fruits. Oh, look at that. See the way that one just ran up on me? How dare you? How dare you, pink ghost? You have not seen the end of me. Okay, all right, one more. I will I will do one more, only because I'm a little angry at that pink ghost the way it ran up on me. But this is the last one. Absolutely last one. But right away. Oh, see, I wanted those cherries, but I guess he wanted them too. Now I got them. Oh no, this is like Ghost City. Oh, there we go. Here, pick up that strawby. Eating all of the ghosts. All of the ghosts. Oh my goodness, look at that. We had an achievement. Eight, twenty, forty-eight pack dots in single player. Hooray! Earning achievements already. That's what I'm talking about, though. This game is pretty forgiving. It has a decent achievement list. Only one of them is really tricky, and you have to actually try for it. Most of them, though, are cumulative, and you'll be able to get them through playing and just through natural progression, which is fun. It's nice to kind of play a game like that that just rewards you for playing. Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, no! Oh, no. oh goodness. I backtracked because of that blue ghost, and that was the end of me. Well, that was a little bit of playing Pac-Man 256. Let me know in the comments below if you've played this game and what you think of it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's been awesome to play in between my big story games, and I'll definitely be playing more of it. Let me know if you want to see me play more of it as well. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time. Bye!